again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of the Senior Sharks Quiz Competition Season 5. My name is Noble Crosby Ann, and today our competing schools are in Fantiman Girl Senior High School and Pope John Senior High School. Please let's put our hands together and welcome the contestants on stage. Contestants, good to have you. Reminder that the Sharks Quiz is proudly brought to you by Kellogg's and Indomie. These are headline sponsors. It is also brought to you by Academic City, Ashesi University, Family Health University College, Beautiful. University of the Free State, Lois University, mm -hmm. Fortune, and Vivo Energy. Please let's put our hands together for our sponsors and take quick introductions and expectations from our contestants. We start with the school to my right, Pope Jones. I'm right, your squad. General Arts, final year student. Mm. Peter Nazik, General Arts, final year student. Biriko and Simon, final year business. Ousu Silas, final year, general science. Please put your hands together for Pope John Senior High School and their contestants. <laughs> There's another 10 of Infantiman Girl Senior High School. Who my do we name, have here? My name is Ruth Apobisa, final year business student. Grace Donko, general science, final year. Peggy Yama, General Arts, Final Year. As well, do a champion, General Arts, Final Year. Please, let's put our hands together for the contestants, too. Contestants, please adjust your microphones to the level that best, that best fits you so you can speak audibly and we will be able to hear you. Welcome to the contest. If we are ready, let's begin this episode with round one. Round one of the Shark Squares is brought to you by Kellogg's. It's the right corner round. The schools have two minutes to answer eight questions on social literacy. Correct answer will attract 10 points. A wrong answer will attract no deduction. Contestants, are you ready for round one? If you are, I'll start with Infantiman Girl Senior High School. Please listen carefully. Which people celebrated the following festivals? The timer will begin after I've read the first question. Which people celebrates the following festivals? Number one is Ojura. Um, Ikuyapim. Ikuyapim Ohum. Um, Ashanti. Ashanti, correct. Abwatri. Winiba. Winiba is right. Which countries and cities goes with the following meanings? Listen carefully. Which countries and cities goes with the following meanings? I saw the mountain. Pass. Three cities. Pass. When did the following African states join the OAU? Libya. Um, 1963. Togo. Pass. Algeria. Pass. We'll go back to which countries and cities goes with the following meanings. I saw the mountain. Pass. Three cities. Pass. When did the following African states join the OAU? Togo. 1962. Incorrect. Algeria. 1962. 1962 is incorrect. Which countries and cities goes with the following meanings? I saw the mountain. Pass. Three cities. Pass. Which countries and cities goes with the following meanings? I saw the mountain. You have 20 seconds more on the clock. Good morning. So pass. Think outside the box. Three cities. Nigeria. That's wrong. Which countries and cities goes with the following meanings? I saw the mountain. Nepal. Nepal is incorrect. So the answer to the two questions, which countries and cities goes with the following meanings? I saw the mountain is Montevideo. Three cities, Tripoli. So Montevideo is uh, the capital of Uruguay and uh, three cities, Tripoli. 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 So, yes, uh, that's it for them. Please put your hands together for them, please. Pope Jones, are you ready? Yeah, are you ready, Pope Jones? Yeah, ready. Let's do this. The timer starts after I've read the first question. When did the following African states join the OAU? One, Gambia. 1963. Incorrect, Sierra Leone. 1963. That's right, Cote d'Ivoire. 1963. That's fine. Which countries and cities goes with the following meanings? Two Cs. Pass. Brave or warlike? Pass. Which people celebrate the following festivals? Akwambo. Akwemu. Incorrect. Fetua Fashe. 
Enzima. Incorrect, Damba. Dagumba. Dagumba is the right answer. Which countries and cities goes with the following meanings? Two Cs. Egypt. Egypt is incorrect. Brave or warlike? Germany. Germany is incorrect. The answers to these two questions. Two Cs, Bahrain. Bahrain. Brave or warlike is Belgium. Brave or warlike is Belgium. So I understand um, Bahrain is, it originates from the Arabic word Al Bahrain. It means two seas. And um, I see a mountain which was for you. Uh, okay. So Brave or warlike was Belgium and two seas was Bahrain. It comes from um, the Arabic word Al Bahrain. Please put your hands together for the contestant. That's it for round one. So, Infantiman Girls, you said Togo joined the OAU in 1963, and that answer is the right answer. <laughs> Please, let's find out the marks at the end of the first round of the competition. At the end of round one, ladies and gentlemen, here are scores. Pope John Senior High School has 30 points, Infantiman Girls Senior High School has 40 points. Please, put your hands together for them. Welcome to round two. Round two, the questions will bother on writing, reading, and arithmetic. Each school is supposed, please, substituting for Pop Jones. So who do we have here for Pop Jones? Entry Ernest. And you are in? General Science. Okay, please put your hands together and welcome Ernest Entry. <laughs> welcome to round two of the competition. The questions will bother on writing, reading, and arithmetic. Each school is posed a question for a maximum of 10 points. A wrong answer will attract a penalty of five points. If a school gets an answer wrong and decides not to attempt a question, it will be passed on immediately as a bonus to the competing school for a maximum of five points for a correct answer or a deduction of five points for a wrong answer. Contestants, I'll need you to listen very carefully. I would help you as much as I can with these words that you are about to spell. Listen carefully. I'll try to say them syllable by syllable. And you have just one attempt to answer the question. To Infantiman Girls Senior High School, spell this word. Cymatokos. Cymatokos. It means having the hair wavy. Having the hair wavy. Once man, you've been bailed out. Bonus to Pope Jones. The word is spelled C Y M O T R I C H O U S. Major question to Pope Jones. Spell this word. Phaeton, Phaeton. The definition is a part of a European newspaper or magazine devoted to material designated to entertain the general reader. A feature section. Phaeton. Others would say Phaeton. Bonus to Infantiman girls. The word is spelled F-E-U-I-L-L-E-T-O-N, Feuilleton. The next word, your major question, Fantaman Gales, pronounce this, spell this word. Sharon Schnittner. Sharon Schnittner. Sharon Schnittner. The definition, the art of cutting paper into decorative designs. Sharon Schnittner. Bonus to Pope Jones. The word is spelled S-C-H-E-R-E-N-S-C-H-N-I-T-T-E. -E -E. These words are all of French origin, so. Your major question to Pope Jones, spell this. Gesellschaft, Gesellschaft, Gesellschaft. The definition is a rationally developed mechanistic type of social relationship characterized by 
and personally contracted associations between persons. Gesellschaft. Bonus to the and girls. The word is spelled G E S E L L S C H A F T. G E S E L L S C H A F T. Your major question now in Phantom and Girls. We're talking about collective nouns now. A group of dash is called dash. A group of bishops is called clergy. Clergy is incorrect. Bonus to Pope Jones. The College of Bishops. A College of Bishops is also incorrect. You don't need to buzz for this round, okay? It's a back and forth. Your major question to Pope Jones. A group of Boers is called, and it is spelled B-O-A-R-S. Bonus in Phantom and Girls. The answer, ladies and gentlemen, is Buffalo. The answer is Sounder, Sounder, Sounder. Major question to Phantom and Girls. A group of buffaloes is called... A group of buffaloes is called... Bonus to Pope Jones. A herd of buffaloes, H-E-R-D, herd. Major question to Pope Jones. A group of caterpillars is called... Bonus to Phantom and Girls. The answer, ladies and gentlemen, and those of you watching us at home, is army, an army of caterpillars. Please wear your calculative hats now. Let's do some math. Your major question in Phantom and Girls Senior High School, what is the square root of 47,089? What is the square root of 47,089? You have seven seconds on the clock. Pope Jones bonus. The answer is 217. 217. Your major question, Pope Jones. When 2,624 is divided by X, the quotient is 238 and the remainder is 6. What is x raised to the power 2 minus 100. When 2,624 is divided by x, the quotient is 238 and the remainder is 6. What is x power 2 minus 100? Bonus to Phantom and Girls. The answer is 21, 21. Next question, your major question, Phantom and Girls. The question, the angle formed between the lines y is equal to x and x plus y is equal to 6 is? The angle formed between the lines y is equal to x and x plus y is equal to 6 is? Five seconds on the clock. Bonus to Pope Jones. 90 degrees. 90 is incorrect. Your major question, Pope Jones. When both sides of an equation are multiplied by 3, the solution is A, 3 times bigger, B, 9 times bigger, C, the same, D, plus 3. The same. Say that again. The same. The same is correct. Please put your hands together for them. Your major question now in Phantom and Girls Senior High School. The average of the first three composite counting numbers is? Two. Two is incorrect. Bonus to Pope Jones. Six. Say that again. Six. Six is the right answer. Your major question, Pope Jones. The ratio of the number of hours in a year to the number of minutes in a year is? The ratio of the number of hours in a year to the number of minutes in a year is? Mm -hmm. 
bonus in Fatman Girls. The answer is 1 over 60. 1 over 60. Your major question in Phantom and Girls, please listen carefully. What is the smallest whole number x such that x plus 3 is greater than 11? What is the smallest whole number x such that x plus 3 is greater than 11? Is it a 6, b 7, c 9, or d 8? 6. 6 is incorrect. Bonus? 9. 9 is the right answer. Your major question, Pope Jones, what is the last digit of 2,456 raised to the power 134? What is the last digit of 2,456 raised to the power 134? Please. Six. Say that again. Six. Is the right answer. Put your hands together for them. And that's it for, the, for round two. Please put your hands together for our contestants. They've done so well for themselves. We'll take a substitution for Infantiman Girls Senior High School as we await the results at the end of round two of the competition. So for Infantiman Girls, who do we have here? Could you put that in... In the holder. Claudette Aku. Claudette, welcome. At the end of round two, ladies and gentlemen, here are our scores. At the end of round two, Infantman Girls have minus 15 points and Pope Jones have 20 points. Put your hands together for them, please. When you wake up in the morning, before you start your day, breakfast time is Keller's time. For work and for play, for a great start to your day, breakfast time is Keller's time. We always start our day with a nourishing Kellogg's breakfast, powered with the goodness of grains and 11 essential vitamins and minerals. So in our family, breakfast time is Kellogg's time. This advertisement has been voted and approved by the FDA. Whenever Princess starts, the neighbors do complain that her voice and the beat are too loud. Who is scared of the voices of tomorrow's superstars? You special in your way. Be a neighbor. Here's to all amazing moms who identify and nurture the uniqueness in our kids. Indomie in noodles tastes great. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Today, the question is no longer, why do we have problems? But rather, how can we spin those challenges into opportunities? This is the revolutionary mindset we, students here at Academic City, are driven by. Academic City, we believe that the challenges of today are nothing like the opportunities of tomorrow. Hence, we're poised for the future. And so we say, come join us. Pakuli. Biasanyani. Huyayi tibatane. Zaofula na bia. Vienu wejwendri. Brabe kanyo. Ao, amana saati shame gojao. As we lead the charge to empower the next generation of future leaders. Academic City University College, redefining university education.
Round three, contestants, are you ready? This is a STEM round. Questions are posed to both schools. The schools can buzz in at any time while the question is being read for a maximum of 10 points for a correct answer and a deduction of five points for a wrong answer. Questions will be read fully and immediately passed on to other schools for a chance at a bonus worth 10 points for a right answer and a deduction of five points for a wrong answer. Buzz in to answer. Question one, which of the following is not true about coronal mass ejections? Which of the following is not true about coronal mass ejections? A, they can lead to loss in radio communications. B, they can indirectly cause damage to electrical transformers. C, they typically will not damage space-based satellites. D, the next week of ejections will likely be during the years 2010 to 2012. The answer is C. They typically would not damage space-based satellites. Next question. Choosing from upper left, upper right, lower left, and lower right. I'll take that again. Choosing from upper left, upper right, lower left, and lower right. The HR diagram, would a blue supergiant be found? Choosing from upper left, upper right, lower left, and lower right, where on the HR diagram would a blue supergiant be found? Anybody has the answer? The answer is upper left. Upper left. Next question. What is the common name for the units in DNA to which phosphates are covalently linked? What is the common name for the units in DNA to which phosphates are covalently linked? Please, who buzzed? Uh, the ribose sugar. Ribose sugar is the right answer. Put your hands together for them. <laughs> Which of the following is least accurate regarding human genetics? Which of the following is least accurate regarding human genetics? A, genes from gametes are typically unchanged during their passage to the zygote. B, the zygote gets one allele from each parental gene pair. C, all genes independently segregate. D, the number of copies of a particular gene can vary among individuals. Please. B. Say that again. B. B is incorrect. Next question, which of the following which of the following is a substance that is very reactive with the oxygen in air and must be stored under water or some other substance to keep it from becoming incendiary? Which of the following is a substance that is very reactive with oxygen in air and must be stored under water for some other substance to keep it from becoming incendiary? A. Fullerene. B. White phosphorus. C. Calcium fluoride. D. Calcium oxide. You buzz? Calcium fluoride. Calcium fluoride is incorrect. Next question. Which of the following best describes the catalyst in the destruction of ozone by chlorofluorocarbons? Which of the following best describes the catalyst in the destruction of ozone by chlorofluorocarbons? A. Homogeneous. B. Heterogeneous. C. Enzymatic. D. Autocatalytic. Autocatalytic. D is autocatalytic. You buzzed? D. D is the wrong answer. Next question. Which of the following best describes how and why electrical resistance is related to temperature? Which of the following best describes how and why electrical resistance is related to temperature? A. As temperature increases, resistance decreases because electrons move faster. B. As temperature increases, resistance decreases because electrons are lost from the conductor. C. As temperature increases, resistance increases because protons move faster. D. As temperature increases, resistance increases because atoms vibrate more, increasing electron scattering. Please. D. D is the right answer. Put your hands together for them. Next question. A 10-kilogram 
hay bale is raised to five meters above a barn floor and then lowered to four meters below the floor. Relative to its starting position on the floor, what is the final gravitational potential energy of the bale in joules if G is rounded to the first decimal place? If 10 kilogram of hay bale is raised, please. 400 joules. 400 joules is incorrect. 500 joules. 500 joules is also incorrect. Next question. Given your answers in millimeters squared, okay, find the lateral surface area of a right pentagonal prism whose altitude is 12 millimeters and base a size of length 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16 millimeters respectively. Given your answer in millimeters squared, find the lateral surface area of a right pentagonal prism whose altitude is 12 millimeters and has and base a size of length 12, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16 millimeters respectively. The answer is 720 millimeters squared. 720 millimeters squared. Next question that ends round three. Aeolian sandstones or Aeolian sandstones are produced primarily by sand grain motion as a result of Aeolian sandstones are produced primarily by sand grain motion as a result of A river currents B ocean currents C glacial transports D winds Anybody has the answer? The answer, ladies and gentlemen, is river currents. River currents. Please put your hands together for our contestants, and that ends round three. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, let's find out the marks at the end of round three of the competition. At the end of the third round, Pope Jones have minus five points, and Infantiman Girls have zero points. Please put your hands together for our contestants. Contestants, round four is here with us. We'll leave on stage the English scholars. In round four, the students are paired on four areas. Two questions are asked per subject area for a maximum of 10 points. For a right answer, and no deduction for a wrong answer. Peter and Peggy, welcome. The Sharks Quiz round four is brought to you by Indomie. Please listen carefully. In the company of smart and crafty fellows, a grubby finds himself out of place. What is a synonym for the word grubby? A. Simpleton. B. Innocent. C. Honest. D. Cunning. Cunning. Cunning is incorrect. Bonus? The answer is simpleton. Next question. The munificence of the businessman was great. The munificence of the businessman was great. Munificence has been underlined. Synonym, A, generosity. B, stinginess. C, misery. D, tactfulness. Generosity. Generosity is the right answer. Put your hands together for them and invite on stage our young mathematicians, please. You are Obobisa. Okay, and you are Peter Silas. How do you pronounce your name, Silas or Silas? Silas. Silas. It depends on the SHS you go to. Contestants, welcome. Please listen carefully. How many numbers greater than 20,000, okay, can be formed by the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, with none repeating? How many numbers greater than 20,000 can be formed by the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 with none repeating? A, 120, B, 96, C, 48, D, 24, E, none of these. You 
Buzz? 96. 96 is incorrect. Bonus? 120. 120 is also incorrect. The answer is none of these. Next question. It takes Matt 24 hours to translate one page of text into Loglan. Each page contains 100 lines of dialogue. A certain role-playing game has eight main characters. And when they are listed in order of lines of dialogue, each character has twice as many lines of dialogue as the previous one. If the seventh character on the list has 320 lines of dialogue, how many hours does it take for Matt to translate all the dialogue? A, 542, B, 432, C, 306, D is 153, and E is none of these. Please. 432. 432 is incorrect. A bonus? The answer is 306. 306. Put your hands together for them. Our scientists will join us on stage. <laughs> Ernest and Claudette, welcome. Your first question in science, listen carefully. When it comes to the manufacturing of margarine, generally, the more solid the margarine, the more trans fat it contains. Trans fat, like saturated fat, lowers high density lipoprotein, which is also known as HDL, or good cholesterol levels. Which of the following statements is true about margarine? A, consuming more trans fat will decrease the risk of heart disease. B, some margarines involve the process of hydrogenation of vegetable oil. C, higher degree of unsaturation. Your answer is? B. B is the right answer. Please put your hands together for them. <laughs> Next question. The relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16, and the relative molecular mass of ammonium sulfate is 132. What is the percent composition of oxygen in ammonium sulfate? A, 12.1%, B, 24.2%, C, 36.4%, D, 48.5%. C. C is incorrect. Bonus? D. D is the right answer. Put your hands together for them. And let's invite on stage our aspects in general knowledge, general knowledge. Contestants, welcome. Righteous and all's well. Please keep your eyes on the screens and tell me who you see. The first to buzz has the opportunity to answer. You don't know him, eh? I've not seen him before, eh? That is Kenneth Kawunda. Kenneth Kawunda. Still keep your eyes on the screen and then tell me what this is, what this represents. That is the African Renaissance. The African Renaissance. Please put your hands together for our contestants and let's invite on stage. So if you're interested to know, Kenneth Kawunda was a former president of the Zambia. He was the first president of Zambia from 1964 to 1991. Contestants, we've come to the end of the contest. Let's find out what marks we have for each school at the end of round four. At the end of round four, ladies and gentlemen, Infantum and Girls School have 10 points. Pope Jones Senior High School have 20 points. Put your hands together for them, please. Final results. At the end of the contest, ladies and gentlemen, Infantiman Girls School have 35 points. A huge round of applause for them. And Pope Jones have 65 points. Pope Jones, congratulations. We'll see you in the next round of the competition. Infantiman Girls, unfortunately, that's the end of the road for you. Thank you so much for coming. And I like your motto, or brangy warabo. Please put your hands together for the contestants. Contestants, thank you so much. Let's show some good sportsmanship here. Let's, let's show some good sportsmanship here.
Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of another contest and Pope John Senior High School won, beating Infantiman Girls Senior High School uh, with 60 points as to Infantiman Girls Senior High School's 30 points. We're back after the break with another keen contest between two schools and it is going to be interesting. My name is Noble Crosby and I've been your quiz master for this episode. I'll see you again after the break. When you wake up in the morning before you start your day, breakfast time is careless time. For work and for play, for a great start to your day, breakfast time is careless time. We always start our day with a nourishing Kellogg's breakfast, powered with the goodness of grains and 11 essential vitamins and minerals. So in our family, breakfast time is Kellogg's time. This advertisement has been voted and approved by the FDA. Whenever Princess starts, the neighbors do complain that her voice and the beat are too loud. Who is scared of the voices of tomorrow's superstars? You special in your way. It's me. Here's to all amazing moms who identify and nurture the uniqueness in our kids. Indomie Instant Noodles tastes great. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Today, the question is no longer, why do we have problems? But rather, how can we spin those challenges into opportunities? This is the revolutionary mindset we, students here at Academic City, are driven by. Academic City, we believe that the challenges of today are nothing like the opportunities of tomorrow. Hence, we're poised for the future. And so we say, come join us. Pakuli. Biasanyan. Uyayi Tibatane. Zafula Nabia. Vienu Wijwin. Brabe Kayam. Ao, Amarasat Shame Gojao. As we lead the charge to empower the next generation of future leaders. Academic City University College, redefining university education.
You're welcome back to the Shark Squares competition. This is the senior Shark Squares competition. It is season five of the competition. Another contest between two schools. This time we're talking about Okuyapemai Senior High School and ICS. Please let's put our hands together and welcome onto the stage the contestants for Okuyapemai Senior High School and ICS. The Shark Squares competition is proudly supported by Kellogg's and Indomie. They are our headline sponsors. Our academic sponsors are Academic CT, Ashesi University, Family Health, University of Free State, Lowers University, Fortune Rise, and Vivo Energy. Please, let's put our hands together for our sponsors. <laughs> My name is Noble Cross Bianen, and I am your quiz master for this contest. We'll start off with some brief introductions of the contestants on the stage. We'll start off with ICS Accra. Who do we have here? Okay, yeah. Yeah. I'm Selassie Sedalo. Selassie, okay. Um, Daryl Dufu. Benoa Desifosu. Natalie Vanessa Embro. Please adjust the microphones to the level that suits you. Who do we have here for Okiapemai Senior High School? For it, there's a reason, no. Final year. Sion mm Ampo -hmm. for Isaac, final year. Garaba Isa Fidel's final year. A former Alfred, final year. Contestants, welcome. Please let's put our hands together and welcome them, please. <laughs> let's begin round one, the right corner round, where the schools have two minutes to answer eight questions on social literacy. A correct answer will attract 10 points. A wrong answer will attract no deduction. Round one of the Shark Squares is brought to you by Kellogg's. I'll start off with Okiapemai Senior High School. The timer begins after I've read the first question. Please listen carefully. Who is the current Deputy Majority Leader of Ghana's Parliament? A. Oseite Mensa Bonsu. B. Haruna Idrisu. C. Muntaka Mubarak. D. Alexander Afenyo Markins. Alexandra Afenyo Markins. Who is the current Minority Whip of Ghana's Parliament? A. Muntaka Mubarak. B. Haruna Idrisu. C. Samuel Okujetua Blackwa. D. Afenyo Markins. Muntaka Mubarak. Who is the Minister of Tourism in the country? Awal Mohammed. Which African countries use the following currencies? A, dinner or diner? Pass. Kwanzaa. Angola. Pula. Pass. Which religion is said to be the mother of both Islam and Christianity? A, Islam. B, Buddhism. C, Taoism. D, Judaism. Judaism. Which is the longest chapter in the Holy Bible? A, Romans 11.20, B, Psalm 119, C, Exodus 14.14, 14, D, Psalm 117. Psalm 119. Psalm 119 is right. Which African countries use the following currencies? Dinner. Senegal. Senegal is incorrect. Kwanzaa. Angola. Pula. Mauritania. Mauritania is incorrect. The answer to that is Botswana. Please put your hands together for them. They've gone through that set of questions. <laughs> ICS Accra, are you ready? Your quick fire questions begin after I've read the first question. Who founded Judaism? A, Moses, B, Abram, C, Joseph, D, Buddha. Moses. Moses is incorrect. How many chapters are in the Holy Quran? A, 104, B, 114, C, 39, D, 1,189. Pass. Which African countries use the following currencies? Escudo or Escado? Pass. Frank. Pass. Delassi. Pass. Who is the majority chief whip? Um, majority chief. Pass. 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 Tina Gifti Na Ayele Mensa, Honorable Tina Gifti Na Ayele Mensa, is the deputy minister of which ministry? Pass. Give me the name of Ghana's chief of staff. Pass. Who is the majority chief whip? Pass. How many chapters are in the Holy Quran? A, 104, B, 114, C, 39, D, 1,189. 114. Incorrect. Which African countries use the following currencies? Delassi. Pass. Frank. 
Togo. Incorrect. Escado or Escudo? Angola. Angola is incorrect. Honorable Tina Giftina Ayele Mensa is the Deputy Minister of which ministry? Tourism. Incorrect. Give me the name of Ghana's Chief of Staff. Seth Amwama. Say again. Seth Amwama. Seth Amwama is incorrect. Please put your hands together for them. They've gone through their set of questions. And that's it for round one. At the end of round one, here are our scores. ICS Accra, unfortunately, has no point. Okay, Pemang Senior High School has 60 points. Please put your hands together for them. Welcome to round two. Please, what do we have here? Pizza and Samuel Parkwisi, final year. Pizza and Samuel Parkwisi, final year. His name is not Peterson. His name is Pizza and Samuel Parkwisi, final year. Round two. I'll start off with ICS. You don't need to buzz to answer the question, okay? There's a bonus. It comes to the other school. We're talking about studies. So what is the study of virology? What is the study of virus? What is the study of virus? Say again. Virology. Okay, so that's how the questions will come. Some of the questions, though. So I'll start off with ICS. The study of aging is called... Bonus to Okuapimai. Gerontology. Gerontology is right. Your major question, Okuapimai Senior High School, the study of agriculture. Geoponics. Geoponics is the right answer. Your major question now, ICS Accra, the study of air in motion. Aerodynamics. Aerodynamics is the right answer. Your major question now, okay, up in mind, air mechanical properties, the study of air and mechanical properties. Please. Aerokinematics. Aerokinematics is incorrect. The answer, bonus, bailed out already. The answer is pneumatics. Pneumatics. Your major question now, I see as a crack. Complete the simile, okay? Complete the simile. As helpless as a baby dash. Dear, baby dear. Incorrect. Bonus. As helpless as a baby in arms. Your major question now, okay, up in my senior high school. As hollow as a... Bailed out as hollow as a... Trunk. That's incorrect. As hollow as a drum. Your major question now, I see as a crack. As dash as hell or fire. As dash as hell or fire. Hot. Hot is the right answer. Your major question will be up in mind. As dash as a newborn baby. As dash as a newborn baby. Delicate. Delicate is incorrect. Smooth. Smooth. Smooth is incorrect, as innocent as a newborn baby. Your major question now, ICS. The sum of the digits of a two-digit number is 11. The sum of the digits of a two-digit number is 11. If the number is reversed, the number is increased by 63. The unit digit of the original number is... The sum of the digits of two... The sum of the digits of two digits number is 11. If the number is reversed, the number is increased by 63. The unit digits of the original number is? Nine. Your major question, say that again. Nine. Nine is the right answer. Your major question now, okay, up in my senior high school. A bar contains five red and six black balls. If two balls are drawn with replacement, what is the probability that both are red? 25 over 1 to 1. 25 over 1 to 1 is the right answer. Your major question now, I see as a crack. If 40% of X is 30% of Y, then X is what percent of Y? If 40% of X is 30% of Y, then X is what percent of Y? 75%. 75% is the right answer. Your major question, open up in my senior high school. In the expansion of, you open the brackets, 
2x minus y, you close the brackets, raised to the power 5. The coefficient of x raised to the power 2y raised to the power 3 is... 10 seconds. Please. 10. 10. Incorrect. Bonus. Somebody had minus 40. Minus 40 is the right answer. Your major question now, I see as a crowd. What is the largest prime number less than 900? What is the largest prime number less than 900? 899. 899 is incorrect. Bonus. Go for it. 898. 898 is also incorrect. So the answer is 893. Your major question, you up in mind. Find the positive number that is four times its reciprocal. Find the positive number that is four times its reciprocal. Find the positive number that is four times its reciprocal. Two. Oh. Two. Please. Two. Two is the right answer. Unfortunately, it was not your question. Your major question now, I see as a cry. How many four-digit numbers are multiples of three? How many four-digit numbers are multiples of three? How many four-digit numbers are multiples of three? Thousand. Say again. Thousand. Thousand is incorrect. Bonus. Twenty-four. Twenty-four is incorrect. The answer is three thousand. Three thousand. Major question: Okay, up in my senior high school. How many district? I'll take it again. How many distinct five-letter words can be formed from the letters? How many five distinct letter words can be formed from the letters of a math quiz? How many distinct five-letter words can be formed from the letters of math quiz? A is 40, B, 120, C, 6,720, D, 40,320. How many distinct five-letter words can be formed from the letters of math quiz? Go for it. 6,720. Say again. 6,720. That is the right answer. Please put your hands together for them. And that ends round two of the competition. Let's put our hands together for our contestants and find out what marks we have for the schools at the end of round two. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you watching us at home, at the end of the second round of the competition, Okrapamai Senior High School has 10 points and I see as Accra has 25 points. Please, let's put our hands together for our contestants. When you wake up in the morning, before you start your day, breakfast time is chaos time. For work and for play, for a great start to your day, breakfast time is chaos time. We always start our day with a nourishing Kellogg's breakfast, powered with the goodness of grains and 11 essential vitamins and minerals. So in our family, breakfast time is Kellogg's time. This advertisement has been voted and approved by the FDA. Whenever Princess starts, the neighbors do complain that her voice and the beat are too loud. Who is scared of the voices of tomorrow's superstars? You special in your way. Instant noodles tastes great. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA.
The University of the Free State is one of the oldest institutions of higher education in South Africa. Established in 1904, the institution produces sought-after graduates on three campuses in Bloemfontein and Kwakwa in the Eastern Free State. Through the years, the university has grown to more than 40,000 undergraduate and postgraduate students spread across seven faculties. The UFS creates opportunities and growth through leading learning and teaching, focused research and impactful engagement with society. Situated in the heart of South Africa, our character of caring and diversity translates into an outstanding university experience. Contestants, we just stepped in round three and I understand there's a substitution for IC as a crap. What do we have here? Colette. Okay. In round three, the questions are posed to both schools and the schools can buzz in at any time while the question is being read for a maximum of 10 points for correct answer. And a deduction of five points for a wrong answer will be read fully and immediately passed on to the other school for a chance at a bonus worth 10 points for a right answer and a deduction of five points for a wrong answer. Contestants, are you ready? Please let's try your buzzers. Okay. All right. Listen carefully, contestants. The fallopian tubes use these to conduct eggs from ovary to uterus, and the trachea has a lining of them for cleaning Celia. purposes. ICS? Celia. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Next question. The Kyode formula, K-O-I-D-E, the Kyode formula, that's what I just spelled, gives a possibly serendipitous relationship between the masses of another group of these, while the Michel parameters give the distribution of decays that occur within the group. Particles from both groups are produced in beta decay, incapable of interacting via the strong nuclear force. Leptons. Say again. Leptons. Leptons is the right answer. <laughs> Next question. According to the continental drift theory, Australia remained attached to Antarctica until the two entities drifted apart about how many million years ago? A, 80. B, 120 C 250 D 3 350 The answer is 80. Next question. From which of the following sources is the food additive carrageenan derived? From which of the following sources is the food additive carrageenan derived? A petroleum, B seaweed, C corn husk, D yarrow root. The answer is seaweed, seaweed. When emissions of nitrogen oxides and VOCs react in the presence of sunlight, what ground level pollutant is formed? When emissions of nitrogen oxides and VOCs react in the presence of sunlight, what ground level pollutant is formed? 
The answer is ozone. What two planets of our solar system are most alike in elemental? Venus and the Earth. The, the Venus is, is alike to the Earth. Incorrect. What two planets of the solar system are most likely, are most alike in elemental makeup to the solar nebula? What two planets of our solar system are most likely, are most alike in elemental makeup to the solar nebula? The answer is Jupiter and Saturn. Next question. What is the specific type of protein from which spindle fibers are composed? What is the specific type of protein from which spindle fibers are composed? Spindle fibers are composed. The answer is tubulin, tubulin. Next question, name all of the following four diseases that are caused by protists. Botulism, rabies, typhoid fever, toxoplasmosis. Name all of the following four diseases that are caused by protists. Botulism, rabies, typhoid fever, toxoplasmosis. The answer is toxoplasmosis. Next question. What is the most common term for the direct addition of water to an alkene to make an alcohol? Hydration. Say again? Hydration. Is the right answer. Next question. <laughs> Under constant temperatures, a sample of gas at a pressure of 120 kilopascals is allowed to expand from 2 liters to 8 liters. Calculate the new pressure in kilopascals. And a constant temperature is a sample of gas at a pressure of 120 kilopascals is allowed to expand. 30. 30 is the right answer. Put your hands together for them. <laughs> Contestants, that's it for round three of the competition. Let's find out our scores now. At the end of round three, ladies and gentlemen, here are our scores. Okuyapi, my senior high school has five points, and ICS Accra has 30 points. Please put your hands together for them. <laughs> that was round three. Round four is up next. The students will be paired on four areas. Two questions are asked per subject area for a maximum of 10 points for a right answer and no deduction for a wrong answer. Let's leave the English girls on stage. The Sharks Quiz Round 4 is brought to you by Indomi. Contestants for English, listen carefully. I need the synonyms of these words, okay? I need the synonyms of these words. Egressing. Egressing. A. Digression. B. Effusion. C. Departure. D. Hostility. D. D is incorrect. Yes? B. It's incorrect too. The answer is departure. Next question is, I need the synonym of this too. Pernicious, pernicious. A, relevant. B, vigilant. C, destructive. D, unit care. Relevant. Relevant is incorrect. D. D is incorrect. The answer is destructive. Mathematics students, please join us on stage. Put us together for them, please. Contestants, welcome. Listen carefully, please. Six congruent spheres are eternally tangent to the six faces of the cube of side length two. If each sphere is tangent to four other of the spheres, what is the radius of each sphere? A, three. B, 21. C, 22. D, five. E, none of the above. Six congruent spheres are eternally tangent to the six faces of a cube of side length Yes? None of the above. None of the above is incorrect. Bonus? What were the, what were the possible answers again? Please. For bonus, unfortunately, I would not be able to go through them. I, I could go through the possible answers, but not the questions. A, 3, B, 21, C, 22, D, 5, E, none of these. 3. Say again? 3. 3 is incorrect. Next question. An octahedral die labeled 1 through 8. 
and a tetrahedral die labeled one through four are rolled randomly on a table. What is the expected value of the sum of all numbers not touching the table? A, 37, B, A, 37.5, B, 38.5, C, 39, D, 40, E, none of these. Yep. 38.5. 38.5 is incorrect. Bonus? 40. 40 is incorrect. The answer is between 38.5 and 40. 39. Please put your hands together for them and let's bring on stage the scientists. Isaac and Colette, welcome. Thank you. Question one, listen carefully. What class of immunoglobulins is most directly responsible for hay fever and common allergies in humans? What class of immunoglobulins is most directly responsible for hay fever and common allergies in humans? The answer is IgE, IgE, IgE. Listen to this carefully, please, and pay attention. Excess aqueous sodium hydroxide was added to a test tube containing salt solution. The solution was heated and a piece of damp red litmus paper was placed at the mouth of the test tube. The red litmus paper turned blue. After the reaction was complete, a piece of aluminum foil was added to the remaining solution. The aluminum foil dissolved in the warm solution and the gas giving off from the bubbles turned damp red litmus paper blue. Which of the following could be a possible identity? There was sodium, sorry, there was ammonium gas produced. Say that again. There was ammonium gas produced at the end of the reaction. That's incorrect. So the aluminium fell dissolved in the warm solution and the gas giving off from the bubble stand damp red litmus paper blue. Which of the following could be a possible identity of salt solution S? A. Ammonium chloride. B. Aluminium nitrate. C. Ammonium chloride. D. Ammonium nitrate. The answer is ammonium nitrate. Please put your hands together for our contestants. Ammonium nitrate is the right answer. General knowledge, please. Selassie and... Jano. Jano, welcome. In general knowledge, please watch the screens and tell me who you see. Who that is? Meghan Markle. Say again. Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle is the right answer. She is the Duchess of Success. Yeah, one more. Please keep your eyes on the screen and tell me what you see. Australia. Australia is the right answer. Please put your hands together for them. And that's it for round four. Contestants, please join us on stage. Please put your hands together for them. They've done so well. When you wake up in the morning before you start your day, breakfast time is chaos For work and for play, for a great start to your day, breakfast time is chaos We always start our day with a nourishing Kellogg's breakfast, powered with the goodness of grains and 11 essential vitamins and minerals. So in our family, breakfast time is Kellogg's time. This advertisement has been voted and approved by the FDA. Whenever Princess starts, the neighbors do complain that her voice and the beat are too loud. Who is scared of the voices of tomorrow's superstars? You special in your way. Be 
satisfy and nurture the uniqueness in our kids. Indomie Instant Noodles tastes great. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. At the end of round four, let's find out how the scoreboard is looking like. At the end of round four, okay, my senior high school has 10 points. ICS Accra also has 10 points. But let's find out the results at the end of the competition. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the contest, ICS Accra has 65 points. Put your hands together for them, please. And Okuapimai Senior High School has 85 points. Put your hands together for them. <laughs> Contestants, thank you so much. Okuapimai, we'll see you in the next round of the competition. ICS Accra, unfortunately, that's it for you. Hopefully, we'll see you next year and do better. Please, uh, good sport matchup here. Let's, let's, let's show Pope Jones and, uh, and the Fatsman how it's done. Ladies and gentlemen, contestants and students, we've come to the end of another contest. It was proudly brought to you by Kellogg's and Indomie. They are title sponsors, also supported by Academic City, Ashesa University, Family Health Medical School, University of Free State, Lewis University, Fortune Rise and Vivo Energy. These are sponsors making the Shark Squares competition a success. My name is Noble Crosby Annan and I was your quiz master for the episode. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.